Now, one of the things that will confront you the most as a beginning teacher is having to make judgments on your students. You quickly get over it and it becomes second nature, but having to actually judge others is something that we're not naturally inclined to do um, in, prefer in preference. But as a teacher, you will need to do this a lot. And there are techniques and processes you can utilize to make those judgments more effective. Now, the most common approach used is by having what we call um, educational standards. So we're judging students against a standard that is clearly defined. So instead of using gut feelings or making up our own sort of um, standards, we have something explicit that we can point to and say, yes, the student is performing at this standard or above this standard or below this standard. And essentially that is the mechanism we use in schools. And we create criteria sheets, rubrics, or what also are called task-specific standards. So the curriculum documents provide us with the standard that the student should be able to demonstrate. Now the QCAA has broken these down by year levels and subjects and provided them for us and I've provided you with copies here. And these give the standard that the student is expected to demonstrate at a C level. So the average student should be able to demonstrate at that particular description. What you need to do though then in creating your criteria sheets or rubrics is to create what are called standard elaborations. So, and these should be task specific. So you take the standard and then you relate it to what the students are learning. So it may be um, they're demonstrating their ability to use um, loops in code in Scratch when making a computer game. So the elaboration bit is you've added that context for the demonstration of loops. Now, you then need to do some additional elaborations on that because that describes what a C student should be able to do. So a, a D student may do that sometimes and an E student won't be able to do that. And a B student will reliably um, do that. So most of the time they will do that, almost always. While an A student will always do the description. So that's what we talk about in terms of standard elaborations. We frame our um, standard that is provided to us. We contextualize them to the task. So we make it task specific. And then we elaborate above and below that to provide some sort of point addable evidence, ideally, as to what a student would be demonstrating at an A standard, at a B standard, at the C standard, at a D standard, and an E standard is generally when they can't demonstrate it at all. You need to be careful that you don't have a D, an E standard where they might be able to demonstrate something. Um, of course, if they can't demonstrate it, then you don't have anything actually to um, to give them. You can't give them below an E standard. Uh, so you've all, you're all used to criterias and criteria sheets and rubrics, but essentially you now need to know about how to create and make them for yourself so that they can guide you in making judgments on your students' performance. Of course, that's really what they're useful for, for teachers. For students, they're useful for interpreting that as feedback to know where they have actually demonstrated and what they haven't demonstrated. And that then becomes part of the conversation you have with your students about how they can improve and the areas that they um, haven't been able to achieve. So explore the various um, standard um, elaborations. Think through how you would make them task specific Think through how you would take those standards and provide um, clear 
point addable evidence of being above the standard but and below the standard and how you would then create those and finally also think again also around quality assurance um, looking at the three main aspects of validity accessibility and reliability so in the standards that you craft they need to be valid they need to be accessible so that all students have got an equal opportunity to demonstrate and they need to be reliable in that there would be consistency in students performance against those standards.